So there is a correction going on on Bitcoin right now. Quite a few people are worried that this is the end of the massive rally that we've been in over the last 90 days. And today I want to talk a little bit about that rally, why it is not over and why there is still a massive bull market coming right around the corner. So let's back up. It is late September of this year and Bitcoin is trading at $25,000. It begins to rally. And then during that rally, Cointelegraph breaks the news that the BlackRock ETF had been approved. It hadn't, it was fake news, but it ended up sending Bitcoin to the upside by $2,000 in eight minutes, proving to everyone, even the naysayers, that the BlackRock ETF's approval would eventually lead to massive, massive rallies. And over the 70 days or so that followed that, Bitcoin rallied all the way up to $45,000 as a yearly high. Right now we're trading back down around 41, and many people are worried that this rally has concluded. I want to come at this from two angles. Number one, why you shouldn't worry, and number two, what's actually going to happen. So the first reason why you should not, the first um, topic here on why you should not worry about this is very simple. There are two ways that a bull market can happen. It can happen all at once, or it can happen over time. And you want the latter. You want a bull market to happen over time time. You don't want the whole bull market to happen all at once. A good example of a bull market that happened pretty much all at once was the 2021 bull market. We saw the pandemic start, then we saw the quantitative easing come in full force with $5 trillion of securities and mortgage-backed securities being purchased, um, and we saw the interest rate slam to the floor at 0%. And we also saw the Paycheck Protection Program going on. We saw uh, all kinds of different stimulus going on through the CARES Act, and the Bitcoin market rallied in the span of about 90 days from just shy of um, $20,000 all the way to $60,000. And basically the entire bull market that you could invest in happened in Q1 of 2021. And you don't want that to happen because by the time you've realized what's going on, it's already gone on. And you don't really have much time to get into the space. Now, there were a lot of altcoins that made money in the last bull market, but Honestly, you kind of had to be like me and be in the space before the bull market ever started to make anything of the 2021 bull market. What you much prefer to happen is the kind of thing that happens in the stock market and the kind of thing that happened in 2016 and 17, where there was continual and steady growth because of the steady growth of the industry. 2016 and 17, Bitcoin would go on to appreciate by dozens of percent every single quarter. And it was a long, drawn-out parabolic uptrend. And during that uptrend, you would have 25, 30, 40% corrections, where Bitcoin would rally to 5,000 and drop down to 3,000, where Bitcoin would rally to 2,000 and drop down to 1,200, where Bitcoin would rally to 10,000 and drop down to 7,000. This was a healthier market than what we saw in 2021, and it was a market that was much more conducive to the average everyday investor making money in it, because it takes time to learn how to operate in cryptocurrency markets. It takes time to learn how to do technical analysis. It takes time to get your finances in order so you can dollar cost average. And so we much prefer to have a slow and steady wins the race kind of approach where the market still goes to the same all time high, but it takes longer to get there because it means that we have a longer, for lack of a better phrasing, summer in the cryptocurrency space. And so if Bitcoin does correct here to price targets that we've given you uh, between 38 and 39.5, which are my basic floor, which is basically my floor for the cryptocurrency space right now for Bitcoin, uh, if that does happen, that constitutes about a 15% drop. There's nothing to be worried about. Bitcoin has nearly doubled, almost doubled in 90 days, 25 to 45. That's about an 85, 87% movement. And it would be healthy for Bitcoin to drop down to at least 38. In fact, it would be healthy to drop down to the previous yearly high at 31,800. That would be about a 30% correction. And that would be one of the best things that could possibly happen to Bitcoin. That would be my most desired Christmas present here in the cryptocurrency space would be a drop on Bitcoin down to 31.8. I don't think that's going to happen. I think 38 to 39.5 is the floor. Uh, $38,000 is the major level of resistance that we saw Bitcoin utilizing in November. We had a massive ascending triangle pattern, and the uh, the ascending level of the uh, ascending triangle pattern's resistance was at 38,000. Uh, 39.5 is the bottom of the CME futures gap. If you go over on TradingView, type in BTC one exclamation mark, then you're going to see the CME futures. Historically, the CME futures gaps are typically filled, which means the market will drop down and fill those markets, leaving a daily candlestick in front of them. Uh, that that open that um. Uh, semi futures gap is uh, based at the bottom at around 39.5. So a drop down to 39.5 is possible and actually likely. There are three levels of support right now that Bitcoin is mainly holding above. It's the 20 daily exponential moving average, the uptrending level of support that has been in play all year, and also the Fibonacci golden pocket from the all-time high at $69,000 on November 10th of last year down to the 
bear market bottom um, in late November of last year at 15.5. The Fibonacci Golden Pocket between 0.618 and 0.65 sits between uh, roughly 39.5, again, there's that number again, to about 41. And so Bitcoin is finding support on all those levels. There's a huge huge mountain of support and even if you go down below 38 there's a huge amount of support on the vrvp from all the trading that we saw happen in november bitcoin has an extremely strong foundation right now but that's not to say that it can't go through more of a correction so is a correction coming i think so i think that a corrective movement down to 38 um kind of in the middle zone of that it's possible the bottom's in at 41 um but all the way down to 38 that's kind of my middling prediction it could go down to 35 it might only go down to 40 but 38 is kind of right there in the middle of where i think the where this drop is going to take place and then moving on into the new year as we get closer to the anticipated blackrock etf i think you will see people wrapping up the Christmas festivities, getting back into the cryptocurrency space in force. And around New Year's, I think you're going to see a major rally. And that major rally um, could honestly lead us all the way back up to all-time high. So that kind of wraps up the reason why you shouldn't be worried about it because this is a small correction. If it were a 30 to 40% correction, it would be massively healthy. And come January, you're probably going to see a massive rally to restart anyway. So there's nothing to worry about in the first place. Now, how do you actually make money with this news? Well, DCA. I like to make it simple. There are so many people on YouTube, so many people in so many industries all over the internet. They want to make it really complicated. Make millions of dollars and do it this way. And it's really hard and it's really complicated. And only I'm the only person in the world that knows it. Look, there are things that we're experts in, right? I'm an expert in technical anal analysis. I've been doing that for six years. That takes a little while to learn, right? Learning how to make some money in crypto, just, just like the basic strategy is pretty straightforward dollar cost average into cryptocurrencies that you believe in. Make sure you got a good bit of Bitcoin. It's the backbone. It's going to keep you safe. And then consider small coins. I've got Cardano, Avalanche, Solana, Polkadot, Chainlink, Polygon, uh, believe it or not, Doge and Sheeb, because I think they do have some pumplementals, Uniswap, uh, Tia, you know, a bunch of different altcoins there. Dollar cost average into them on Fridays. And then once they hit all-time high, start looking for places to get out of them. Now, some of them might go to three or four times all-time high, but once they hit all-time high, start dollar cost averaging out of them. Take some profits. Maybe take your principal plus a little bit more out and then play with the proceeds. Whatever you do, understand that the fundamentals for cryptocurrency are remarkably strong right now. This is, if you were to look at it from a calendar point of view, this is basically March, right? We're coming out of winter. Winter is ending. It's getting warmer. And we see summer ahead of us. It's pretty much not totally certain, but as about as close as you can get. Something could happen, right? Uh, the BlackRock ETF could be denied, and Gary Gensler comes out and says, no, it's never going to happen. But here's the thing. BlackRock doesn't get told no. BlackRock might be told not right now, but BlackRock does not get told no. They're one of the most powerful companies on planet Earth. Gary Gensler does not tell BlackRock and Larry Fink no. It just is not the way that works. Um, it probably wouldn't even be a lawsuit. It would probably be more of a behind-closed-doors business handshake, if you know what I'm saying, of uh, you better approve this or else kind of deal. I'm not saying that's the way it should work at all, but I am saying that that is a lot of the times the way that it works. BlackRock's going to get their ETF, and because BlackRock's going to get their ETF, the rest of the ETFs that are waiting for approval are probably going to get approved also. And you're going to see an influx of trillions of dollars into this space. And the people that get in now and understand how to work in this market are going to make a lot of money. It's that simple. And I like to believe in the best in people, so I'm going to believe the best that and I have good reason to because I know what my community's like, that you guys want to do good things with the money that you're going to make. I don't think you guys want to go out there and try and you know take over the world and be a super villain with the money you're going to make. I think that a lot of you guys are wanting to save for retirement so that you can even retire in the first place. Some of you want to retire early so you can spend more time with your grandkids. Some of you want to uh, pay off your house so you have more money to go on trips with your children. Some of you want to um, help your children go to school. Some of you have a lot of debt that you're trying to get out of. You have noble reasons, more than likely, hopefully, that you're trying to make money. It's not just to be greedy. It's not just to be a sleaze bag. It's not just to be uh, deplorable. It's not It's not that reason. You want to make money so you can change your life, change your family's life, right? That's what I want to do. That's what we are doing. And if you follow the basic strategies of dollar cost averaging into the altcoins and into Bitcoin, learning technical analysis so you know when to take trades and you know the best time to make lump sum investments, and you stick around, I think you're going to do very well in this bull market and it's going to lead to life-changing wealth for you. And if you would like to learn more about how to make life-changing wealth in the cryptocurrency space and reach for what I call financial sovereignty, that being a state of having control over your finances rather than them controlling you, having a degree of control over your destiny rather than being destined and doomed, 
subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, only if you like the video, hit the like button. It helps to support the content here and subscribe. We've been doing this for over six years and we're going to continue for many, many more. And uh, I believe that together we can make a lot of money in this bull market and set ourselves and our families up in a way that is conducive to prosperity. If you have not already, make sure to sign up for the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy. It is on sale right now. Use coupon code CHRISTMAS2023. I will put it at the top of the description box down below to get 20% off of CT2A. Learn everything that you need to know about technical analysis to hit the ground running and make the most of this coming bull market. We've taught over 5,000 students how to become successful in the cryptocurrency space, and many of them have gone on to make millions of dollars trading and investing in this industry. Um, we've had CT2A for going on six years now, and I'm very proud to say that our members are learning and growing every single day. If you want to sign up for 20% off, you can use the link in the description box down below through the end of Christmas Day. Peace.